Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Happy New Year to you. I'm up at the Trossocks at the moment, up at uh, near Loch Acre, and uh, we've got quite a grey day. It's very, it's very dull, very overcast, and just little hints of uh, mist. So I've decided that today what I'm going to do is try and create a bit of drama, a bit of mood, by underexposing my images to give it that kind of really kind of dark, kind of grungy moody feel. So as if rather poor light isn't enough, I thought I would add to the mix a little bit and limit myself to one lens only and that lens is the 70 to 300. Right, while I'm waiting on the light improving and that mist moving, uh, if you get the newsletter or the monthly newsletter then you'll know I've actually been at this location in the last couple of weeks. This is the place that I mentioned in the, the newsletter where I came and the light just wasn't as spectacular as I had hoped it was going to be. So I thought I'd come back and give the location another try. Right, what'd you make of this? Basically what I've done is I've zoomed right in, I'm close to 300 millimeters and I'm picking out some details just on this ridge here. The, the image, it's almost going to be a silhouette where you've got just that little hint of mist on the tree line behind and these trees in the foreground silhouetted. It is what it is. It's not the ideal conditions, but that, that looks quite nice. It, obviously, the thing that I'm having to work with today is the weather. It's the, the mist that's going to be the star of the show, I think, in all of today's images. So it's really just trying to find compositions that emphasise the weather. It's weird that you'd think as the sun comes up, it would get brighter, but it's actually get, looking a bit gloomier than it was before. Yeah, the light's not really doing much. I might just concentrate on this ridge here just now. And again, picking out little details, trees in the mist, that sort of stuff. And uh, all the while, eyes in the back of the head to see if uh, the mist returns to those trees down there. Yeah, that little bit of mist we had is now turned to rain. So it's not looking, it's not looking great. I do like this tree here. Let me just show you this. So this tree leaning off to the side, and then you've got a little kind of copse of trees behind it, and then the mountain beyond. That I think has got potential in terms of a composition, but the light is just horrendous now, and uh, the the rain's not helping. If anything, that's washing what little mist we had away. So, having to work fast now, trying to pick out little compositions before before they're gone. Good fun though. Right, okay, I've moved down a little bit from where I was earlier, because that then, that's allowing me now to get that little copse of trees and that tree that I liked in the front and center. Unfortunately, the mist is gone, which means there's no longer a nice separation between the foreground and the mountain. So I'm just waiting out to see if uh, if the rain stops to begin with and uh, see if that mist returns. But if we can get a bit of mist back and that can increase the separation between these trees and the distant hill, then that might make for quite a nice shot. Again, slightly underexposing, try to create a bit of mood and atmosphere. So, another waiting game. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get an awful lot more mist. Uh, that'd be too helpful, wouldn't it? It's a shame that it does have a bit of potential. It's got a nice, it's a nice scenic view. And if we only had a little bit more mist, then I think that would have worked very well. Uh, rain's still on. What were you doing in January the 2nd? Uh, 
Right, I've got myself wondering if there's actually a panorama here from about this little group of trees here all the way across, including that tree that I like here to that ridge that I was shooting earlier. It's quite a wide panorama with a lot of potential for things to go wrong, but <laughs> I think I'll give it a go. I don't have anything better to do at the moment. The, the light's not improving, the rain's not going off, the mist is not returning. So I think it's just going to be a case of take probably, I might even go as many as five vertical crops from about here all the way across to about here. Again, all slightly underexposed because, um, well, for a start, the sky is burning out because the sky is a lot brighter than the foreground. So I'll probably just underexpose it slightly and then try and recover some of the detail from the shadows in post-processing. Right, I'm taking that panorama. No idea whether it's worked or not, because I didn't get a chance to review the images because almost that, well, as I started taking the panorama, we had just little wisps of mist appear behind this tree that I liked. So I quickly, I rushed the panorama at the end there, just so that I could stop what I was doing and zoom in a little bit more and focus on that tree again and see if we could get a shot with the mist behind it, because that was given as the separation I was looking for earlier. And uh, it's pretty much gone again now. I think I've got two images, so hopefully at least one of them has worked. Right, nearly missed it. <laughs> I was too busy shooting Ben Ann. I glanced behind myself and saw that this uh, lovely bank of mist was starting to form just below that ridge. So I've quickly changed position again, come rushing back to where I was originally. And uh, I'm going to try and capture that now. Still none behind the tree, but that gives us some hope, doesn't it? You know, this is what I really love about landscape photography in Scotland. Our weather is just so unpredictable, so changeable, that you, you never know what you're going to end up photographing when you come out. Uh, and that keeps it interesting. That, that means you can come back to the same location time and time again. Uh, and the one thing that you're guaranteed is the weather's going to be different, which means you can take different types of images. Uh, this, is, this is absolutely beautiful. And I was here, as I said earlier, I was here about two weeks ago. Completely different conditions, completely different photography. And uh, here we are today, shooting the mist in the, in the mountains. Absolutely beautiful. I was actually just about to pack up when this started to happen. We've got some mist in front of that little hill as well now, which again has given us some more separation. So you've got, um, you got the, the trees, the mist above the trees, the ridge, more mist, the mountain. And uh, that's given quite a nice layered effect, which again, by pushing the exposure a little bit too far, um, is making it look very dramatic, very moody. And uh, yeah, I like that. And we're even starting to get some mist behind the tree that I was after. So that's given it 
even more separation there. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. That's not bad, eh? I'm loving the mist just down in that little valley there as well. That's beautiful. With those trees as the foreground, the ridge showing up starkly against the mist, and then the summit of Ben Venu just hidden beyond the, the cloud line. Absolutely gorgeous. Is that not absolutely beautiful? Oh, what a great way to start the year. So that's us for another video, hope you enjoyed, give us a little thumbs up if you did. Uh, hopefully I've showed you that even in the, the worst of conditions, by uh, getting a little bit dramatic, deliberately underexposing, you can create some quite moody images. Uh, give us a like if you haven't already and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers, bye. Ooh. <laughs> right, heading back out with the camera. A nice warm cup of tea and then I'll get going.